Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am making Korean spicy pork dhoji bulgogi. So if you guys want to know how to make this, hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. All right, I'm going to give you guys the recipe for one pound of pork because I am going to be making about, I don't know, 20 pounds of pork right here. So don't go with what I'm doing. Go with the instructions that I've given you already. This is a lot that we're doing all at once because I want to go ahead and marinate these and have them frozen in the freezer so that we can have an easy dinner once every week or so. I don't know. But here we go. Frozen pork right here. I'm going to let it thaw out a little bit before I can start working on this. And all I'm going to do is just peel it off by layers and get to it. And it's going to take some time to do this part because I have so much pork on my por pork in my bowl. So here we go. Now once you have most of it thawed out, then start adding your ingredients right into your bowl. And again, you guys saw what you guys needed to do for about one pound. You guys can just double it and triple it and whatever it is that you need to do for however many pounds of pork that you do end up using. But again, 20 pounds here, it's a lot. And I'm just dumping a lot of stuff in all at once. If you like your pork to be more on the spicy side, go ahead and add more red pepper flakes. And you can also add more of the red pepper paste that I added in the beginning as well. Don't forget your ginger because I feel like this really helps in the flavor of the whole entire dish once it's cooked. Now once you have everything mixed up really nicely and you let it sit there for a few minutes, go ahead and grab a small frying pan and give it a taste. Cook it and see how you like it if you need to adjust any of the ingredients as needed. For me, I like to just take out a few pieces and then I'll cook it and I'll try it and I'll give it to my husband and see if he likes it and he can tell me if there's anything that needs to be adjusted as well. So your preference, again, this is very easy to just play around with a little bit before you go ahead and separate them to meal prep them for ahead of time.
once you've taste tested everything and everything is to your liking and a thumbs up approval from everyone around then go ahead and start dividing it up I'm have I'm using about what five or six quart size bags and I'm going to be splitting them up into these bags so it's good enough for one meal at a time Now I marinated mine about midnight-ish or so and so I went ahead and divided everything up, put them up in the freezer and saved a bag to make for dinner the next night. So go ahead and cook it and serve it over rice. If you guys like this recipe, please hit that subscribe button, like it and share it. And until the next meal, thank you again for watching. Watch me cook.